Hey, my pretties, welcome back. So today I'm headed inside of Aldi to do a little bit of shopping. I am not going to the Aldi's finds section. Not today, we're just doing some shopping. So I got my basket and we're gonna head in. Um, I started over in this refrigerator section and the first thing that caught my attention was this broccoli bake. And it has cheese in it and you're supposed to put it in a casserole dish, put it in the oven. It is $2.29, so I figured I'm gonna give that a try uh, since I've never had a broccoli bake. <laughs> then you had these right here, which looked pretty good. It said it was whole wheat. Uh, I chose not to get that. Some of the same stuff that we've been seeing every week, the macaroni bites um, and a few other things. Uh, this is a sweet and spicy chickpea meal, and that was $4.29. The mini corn dogs, honey flavored, crunchy batter, uh, $6.49. And they had some hash browns right there, but I'm not gonna lie, you guys, I was so happy to find the hash brown sticks. I know they're just like hash browns, like those over there, just the regular patties, but I wanted the sticks. <laughs> so um, I was happy to see that they were only $2.99. I've been hearing a lot about the hash brown sticks, so I ended up picking up two bags. Yes, I got two bags. Uh, over here, there was some cloud bread, and I have never heard of cloud, cloud bread before, so I was like, hmm, what is this about? Um, it's made with eggs and cream cheese, and it's keto. Look at that. I thought that was pretty cool. So you can make a little sandwich with it, it was $5.39 and it was very interesting. However, I didn't pick up any. So I'm just browsing the little ice cream section. The last time I was at Aldi, I showed you guys those cotton candy frozen grapes and I told you guys they were not my favorite. However, the kids asked me to pick some up. They were like, mom, if you see those again, please get them. They were $3.99. But I did, however, see the gelato flight over here with the limoncello, is it limoncello, limoncello? <laughs> Those are $3.99. It also has the tiramisu and the pistachio. And I was like, oh my goodness, I'm getting two of these. So I did grab up both of those. And I haven't tried them yet, but hopefully I'm gonna love them. Then over here are the bags of the blends that you can use for your smoothies, the antioxidant, the super green. They have so many that you, to choose from. It's a good deal for $5.99 because you get a big bag. Also, they still have the oatmeal bites in blueberry and maple and brown sugar. To me, those seem pretty cool for $4.79. However, I didn't get any because I chose to get these waffles. I did see the grab-and-go waffles before in chocolate, but I did not see them in the maple flavor right here. So I'm going to get that box and I'm going to get the chocolate and those are $3.99. Did I need the chocolate ones? Probably not, but I think that we're going to enjoy them. <laughs> the three pepper onion blend, yes, I'm getting two of those because I love making pepper steak you know, with your gravy on top of your rice. These are only $1.99. So I'm gonna get two bags because it'll be so easy instead of me chopping up peppers and onions. I just will pull those out of the freezer. Okay, and then I stumbled across these crispy chili potato wedges, which sounds super good. I'm like, ooh, crispy, spicy, chili potato wedges. Oh yeah, we're gonna get those. So I picked up two bags of those. Uh, they also had the carrots and sweet potato mix right there and the fire roasted vegetables. I believe all of these were $1.99 um, for the bag. So I ended up getting two bags of the potato wedges because I think those are going to be a hit. They do have some wild shrimp. They're, the tag says red shrimp, shrimp. So whatever a red shrimp is, those are $8 for the bag. And then over here, the sweet teriyaki chicken skillet. Um, these always come in, um, you know, they're, they're perfect timing when you just don't feel like cooking. They're $5.59, it's super fast. You can do that, make some fried rice or whatever, some broccoli on the side. And so I did pick up two bags. They also have the beef lo mein, which I'm not too big on the noodles, so I didn't get that. 
They have the Mongolian style beef, which look good, but I just got the chicken one instead. The mini wontons look good. So those were $6.89 and you get a nice big bag. Never had them from Aldi before. And um, so I decided to get them. But right here, I noticed that those were chicken and vegetable and the one that I picked up was pork. So I put back the pork ones and I chose to get the chicken. Don't get me wrong, the pork ones were probably really good. However, I just um, don't tend to grab pork as much as I grab chicken. So that's why I picked those. Now these right here, the salted caramel truffles, I was like, yes, I love me some truffles. And I don't think I've ever had the salted caramel. They do have the cocoa ones as well but I got the salted caramel. I did grab some Twizzlers, as you saw. These barbecue sauces interested me. The Carolina barbecue sauce, it was this one right here, the ivory barbecue sauce. That was, yeah, I almost grabbed it, but I was like, no. The smoky sound good too, but I was like, yeah, maybe next time, 548. <laughs> the fall shaped pasta, those are always there. Super cute, I think they were 249. And you guys saw in my last Aldi video, I did pick up the Flavors of Fall coffee collection. They have some really nice flavors in there. Today, we're going to grab the pink raspberry sparkling soda. Um, they, had a, they had two other flavors, but the pink raspberry sound good. So that's the one I'm going with. The Jif Squeeze Pouch, I have to get that. Love the Squeeze Pouch, it's, it's, it's mess free, especially when Pooh Bear gets to making him some sandwiches, so I had to grab that. Some more barbecue sauce, $2.99. Passing the Aldi Fine section, they had the cute fall pictures out, but I said, nope, I'm not going down that road today. We're going over here to the watermelon. This brand was called Moon Dust, and I was trying to see if they were seedless or seeded, but I couldn't tell. The peaches were looking pretty nice. You have some mangoes, some bananas, and everything was um, really nicely priced as usual for Aldi. $3.89 for this bag of lemons. You have the navel oranges uh, for $3.79 a bag, which I'm gonna pick up one because we eat tons and tons of oranges and apples in my house. Uh, $2.98 for this big bag of onions right here, the yellow onions. You have those, and then there's a bag of potatoes over here. And there was a lot of potatoes in that bag. <laughs> and they were $5.49, but I didn't need them. Honey Gold little mini potatoes right here, $2.98, which goes really good when you're doing roast. They have some yams or sweet potatoes for $3.87 a bag. And $2.39, vinegar. I always keep big things of vinegar, especially because I need to clean my chicken. So I had to pick up one of those. A three pack of zucchini, 59 cent, not a bad deal at all. So in my basket it goes. 166 for the head of lettuce. You have some celery, everything is looking nice. You have these tomatoes up here, um, which I love tomatoes. They were called like snacking tomatoes or something like that for $2.99, but they were on the vine. However, I'm just gonna go with these right here because uh, and those are $2.79. I love making my caprese salad and I always need tomatoes. So I was like, where am I putting this at? Okay, let's let's just go and drop it down there. Um, there's some salad, spinach, Dijon for $2.96, ready to go. Everything is in that pack. It looked pretty good, but I knew I didn't need it. They're Santa Fe style. And I was looking at the strawberries because lately I haven't been buying strawberries. They haven't been too sweet. Um, although they look red, they just haven't been that great. So I left those right there. This big bag of peppers, $3.19, that is a great deal. As well as the four pack of corn. If I didn't already have some, I would have picked those up. A little further down, I saw these and I'm like, okay, all right, they look all right. So I'm just trying to pick out which one I'm gonna try. And hopefully they are sweet. Because, you know, they're, I think they might be out of season now, so they're a little sour. You have some big containers of grapes and all kind of other stuff over here. The calzones right here for 249 
I spoke about these in the past. I like the pepperoni. However, my favorite is that one right there, the four cheese. You also have the buffalo chicken and the Philly cheese steak. Um, I haven't tried those two yet, but I'm pretty sure they're good. I did pick up a bag of gala apples and my daughter made sure to remind me to get some croissants, the mini croissants at that. And those are $3.45. So that's what I'm doing, I'm grabbing her some croissants. And I'm trying to avoid the pastries and the cookies. However, these pretzel burger buns, the pretzillas for $2.99 looked pretty interesting, but I didn't get them. The family or party size um, packs of cookies, $4.99. Chips Ahoy. And just browsing the cookies, but I ended up picking up some Cheetos. Okay, so now I'm back here in the back of the store where the cheese and all the good stuff is and the meats and stuff. You had some Bolt House vanilla chai for $6.82. There's strawberry, there's carrot, there's different ones, $6.48. There's also some celery juice for $10.48. This pack of deli sliced Italian trio, you get the two different kinds of meats and the cheese uh, for $9.29 or you could get this one, which is the Hot Ham Trio. And I liked how everything came together, so you can just get it, go home, and make your sandwiches. These infamous cheese fries that I've been looking at every time I come to Aldi and have never purchased. Well, you guys, I love me some mozzarella sticks. I don't know if they're going to be like mozzarella sticks, but today they're going in my basket, and I'm bringing them home. I'm going to deep fry them, and we're going to try them dumplings beef dumplings made with beef tofu cabbage carrots red bell pepper onions and spices sound pretty nice uh, 3 dollars uh, and then you have some hatch green chili cheddar dip for $3.29 the prebiotic sodas in classic cola right here for $1.89 or you can get it in lemon lime Okay, $8.99 for some salmon right here. I thought that was um, pretty good. That that piece though came up to $24.67. Uh, it was a really big piece, so I thought that was cool. This one, you get the cedar plank. That was $8.68. It's $10.99 per pound, so $8.68 for that one. Here's some raw shrimp, peeled, divined, and the tail was off. Did that say off or on? I don't know. I couldn't remember. <laughs> the pork chops look pretty good. Thick cut, $14.18 for that pack. Or you can get the smaller pack, thinner slices for $5.27. You have the stew meat right here, $7.81. And up here, $11.49 a pound. Uh-oh, almost dropped that. Let me flip it over so we can take a look. You get the two grass-fed beef. New York steaks that double pack was $15.86. Right here, there's some grass fed ground beef patties $4.99 um, for that pack, and you get four nice size patties. And then the chicken drumstick pack $5.11. That is a family pack, so that's a good deal. Chicken thighs right here, which I actually need is five dollars and 41 cent however i need mine that to be skinless and boneless the chicken breast right here is 11.59 and right here you have some chicken leg meat for 9.95 the whole chickens organic whole chicken 17.32 bit pricey but you know what everywhere i go whole chickens are costing so much right now um i guess that's a good deal because that one was organic uh up here chicken drumsticks you can get the smaller pack for 523 but that's kirkwood uh so yeah i think the bigger pack down at the bottom was a little was about the same but you get more chicken so here's some chicken thighs kirkwood uh 591 and these are boneless skinless I'm going to pick up three packs, so I doubled th that bag up with two, and then I'm going to grab one more. Over here, $6.99 for the ground turkey, 85% lean, 15% fat, that's a nice um, amount in there, or you can get the 93 and 7%. 
turkey bacon 349 that's a good pack that's a good size pack because at the regular grocery store that pack would probably be about seven to eight dollars there's some creamer over here and i spotted of course pumpkin spice and this is almond milk creamer so uh it's limited edition but i'm not gonna get it i was standing there thinking about it however i did pick up this one the hazelnut real milk and cream in that one and that was they also have vanilla and that was 345 the organic eggs 355 right there you have the free range for 339 the pasture uh, raised eggs were 529 the milk is 319 a gallon and right here you have some organic pumpkin seed and flax granola cereal for $3.39. Okay, so since I picked up some peanut butter, I figured let me get some jelly. But I saw that they had sweet orange marmalade, which is one of my favorites. Uh, but then I ended up going with the apricot preserves. I don't think the kids like marmalade so much because it has the chunks of fruit in it. So I just went ahead and went with the preserves. Even though it is still a little chunky. <laughs> the mayo is $3.15. The Berman's mayo, that was $3.15. Uh, the ketchup, that bottle is $1.49. Marked down from $1.79. And let's see, there's some chicken breast over here for $3.29. So that's it, you guys. That is it for my haul. I came up here to get in line. Um, I picked up a lot of stuff. And I think that's going to be it. So thank you all for watching. Let me pay for this stuff and get out of here. Just so you know, my total came up to $114. Okay, you guys. See you in my next video. Bye.